Well, good morning, guys. I wanted to talk about a subject that's hotly contested between mainly business owners and a lot of small business owners, which is Home Advisor. And I've used Home Advisor for the last four years or so. I know I did jobs in 2013, I, I can remember. And I guess I could look at my app and see how long I've been on there. But I know it's been right around four years or so. Overall, I have made money with Home Advisor. And I guess that's the point of the whole thing is to make money. So mission accomplished there. I've had a few change outs come up now. When I use Home Advisor, I use just service leads. That's what I do. So if a change out comes out of it, that's sort of a bonus, but I don't do the actual change out leads because we're talking about at the time when I started this, the change out leads were you know, 50 bucks per lead. And the service leads were between 10 and $20, depending on what type of lead it was. Now, there's two different kinds of leads that I get. It's I think it's market match and exact match. Market match is they send leads out to a few different people. And exact match is where guys, I guess, select you because of your ratings. And I get both types from time to time. So over the last few years, I mean, I can think of, just off the top of my head, uh, a few change outs that I've done because of the service and some large repairs, you know, compressor change outs. I can think of two right now that came from Home Advisor from the same customer, uh, evaporator change outs. So with the $15 lead or $20 lead, it's really easy that once you get a big change out or a large repair to do, it really pays for a lot of the leads and puts you in the good on that sort of service. So it seems like an obvious thing to do. But there's a big downside to Home Advisor, and it's the fact that it one you know it'll put a few more of these gray hairs on your in your beard or in your hair. It'll cause that line to go a little bit higher, and the reason is because Home Advisor is a very frustrating service to use sometimes, and it's because of the leads that you get. Now I've gotten leads, and one my favorite one is. When I get a lead, sometimes if I can't reach the person, I'll look them up like online to see, you know, what, you know, if anything pops up, what uh, area they are. I'll look on the map location to see if it's something I even could do anyway if they call back because it's, it's all about speed. And we'll talk about that in a second. My favorite one was I looked up this lady and her profile popped up from some social media and it said she was the receptionist for a different HVAC company, uh, a large sales related HVAC company in the town close to where I live, Wilmington, North Carolina. So I pretty much realized putting two and two together that they were calling around and booking leads for other companies to waste their time and money. So that's that's the sort of thing you run into. And of course, you can call Home Advisor and argue your case, but if you guys are like me, you can't take time out of your day to call Home Advisor every few days about some lead you think is a bum lead. Now, I know guys that knew it and have called in and have rectified the situation, but to me, <clears throat> I have a ton of stuff going on, so I can't call Home Advisor and do that every single time. I think there's something wrong. A lot of the leads, they'll never call you back. They won't answer the phone when you do call them. So it makes you want to chuck your phone across the room or strangle somebody because it's very frustrating. You may have a situation where you lose 10, 20 leads in a row and don't get any of them. On average, I probably get one out of 10. And I don't pursue it as much as I think the my counterparts do. For example, whenever you get a lead, it'll text you. I have it set up to text me, and it'll send me a notification on the app and an email. And I have to call that person right away. Now, if you wait it, what seems like three nanoseconds, someone else will call them, and you will lose the job. And that's the way it is. I mean, you have to be really, really fast. So it puts you in an odd situation where you run your business and you have word of mouth customers that call you because of the high quality job you did for somebody else because they heard you're good at your job. And that's really not what Home, home Advisor is about. It's about the first person with a pulse that calls or the cheapest person that calls. You don't have that loyalty. So that can be a little bit frustrating as well. And you're dealing with people. They don't know you. You know, for all they know, they see you as, you know, a shady mechanic or something like that who gets leads on online service because they can't do it in their real life job. So I don't know. Overall, it's been a good service for me, but it, it will make you want to punch somebody in the face every now and then. <laughs>
And that's the best way to put it. Cause you'll get, you get off the phone after calling like the 10th guy in a row that didn't answer his phone. And you're like, Arr. but you will make money with the service. I mean, if you do a good job, I mean, a lot of them will call you back. I've had several customers and I don't, I don't know how many I've, I've had a few hundred leads over the last few years, and I've gotten tons of customers out of it, customers that will stick with me, customers that have told other people that I've done work for other people. So it it works for what it's intended for a small business. I think a small business is really where it's going to be most useful, where you have a single-man company like me that can answer the phone. My glasses are all turned sideways. Look crazy. Yeah, just listen to me, guys. But single-man companies where it's going to be really useful. I think once you get to larger companies, unless you have someone dedicated to answer those calls and return those leads as fast as possible, I mean, it's really no use. And in a larger company, I guess it's not a big of a difference. I think it's really catered for small companies, single man companies, especially ones that are just starting out. If you can make it through the frustration of the service, it's a, it's a good service to have. Now they have a different pay scale now than they used to. I think they charge you a yearly fee too, which I don't pay because I guess I'm grandfathered in. So you have to take that into account too. And maybe some of our other contractors can chime in on the comments and let us know how much that is. I want to say it's two or 300 bucks per year to be part of the service. If that's the case, and that puts it in a whole different light. When I started with the service, it was just you pay by lead and that's it. And now since you have this whole extra fee to pay, it starts where you're sort of weighing it a little bit more. Cause if you don't get a change out out of it or you get a whole bunch of bum leads to start off with, it's going to be very frustrating. I know people that have started the service and they've gone through 10 leads and they've spent, you know, almost a couple hundred dollars and they have nothing to show for it. And it's very frustrating. The very first few leads that came across my phone, I was all excited about them. Cause I was like, at the time I was building my business up. I was like, wow, that's some new leads. But people would call and, they would just ask questions and they didn't want a service call. They would call and ask how much is R22, this sort of questions. And they never call you back again because they're looking for, you know, the lowest price, no interest in quality, just trying to find someone who can refill their unit as cheaply as possible. And that's going to be the case with a lot of them. So you're going to have to bear that kind of burden if you're going to use the service. So I just want to talk about it for a few minutes, guys, this morning. Overall, I still have the service. Uh, I'll keep it because Overall, it gets me a few customers every now and then, and I and I come out ahead in the grand scheme of things. So I'll keep it. It's the only problem is you got to bear with it, which is the most difficult part. I know a lot of guys use it. Maybe you guys can chime in in the comments. But that's about it for today, guys. Just want to talk for a few minutes about Home Advisor. It is a worthwhile service. Again, with the new fees, you have to wait a little bit more than I did when I started. But if you're going to be attentive to your phone, and call back as soon as possible, you're going to get more leads than someone like me who does not call back as quickly or I'll shoot people a text because I'm hanging upside down inside of a unit or something like that. And I'll get one every now and then, but I don't get it as much as I would if I was, you know, more determined. We'll say that. So that's about it for Home Advisor, guys. If you have any questions about it, if you want to hear something else about it that I didn't touch on, just let me know and I'll do another vlog. Otherwise, you guys have a great day and be safe out there.